Hey guys, this is the Rifleman, and I'm bringing you the next part of my Prussia Let's Play. So where we left off was this ridiculously thought out battle where apparently this army has just as much chance of winning as mine. Right. <laughs> well, I'll see you guys on the battle screen. Okay, the last battle, hopefully this should be it. With them gone, with those units gone, there should not be any following attack. Form up right at the front with a bit of an angle with cover cavalry and artillery sat here. There's not much of it, so it doesn't really matter if it gets lost. Uh, let's get it. Oh my god! Canister shot! <laughs> close very quick I like quick especially after I've fought three battles but it is the best way to fight siege battles sure it's longer but it can be such a gamble fighting in a siege especially because you know I don't have any I don't have any um, grenadiers no assault troops so also, for that reason as well. Let's get you guys involved. Subpars. Could just do a band charge, but I'm gonna risk it. I love that. So he's, so he's calling out targets or something. Probably I'm just gonna charge them down afterwards. No point playing at normal speed because I'm not even gonna bother charging them down. My guy my cavalry is just so small. Ugh, end battle. Alright. See you guys back on the campaign screen. Okay, so the Result, as expected from that, is that they have no men remaining, and Vienna should be ours! They have a lot of stacks still running around. I'm friendly with the United Provinces, so... Counteroffer. Oh no, we've got a trade agreement. Okay, they can have military access. As long as they don't be dickholes about it and then decide to stab me in the back. Because that'd suck. Then again, Prussia campaign I think is pretty small. Relatively. I'm going to check my uh, objectives, but there's really not a whole lot. Hanover's... See? I was ve very friendly. Very friendly. Well, Berlin is... Ugh. Who's backing me up? Alright. I've got fire by rank. They got lots of cavalry. Line, line, line. You know what? Let's do it. Okay. See you guys on the battle screen. Okie dokie, here we go. Uh, form a three rank. Three and a bit deep rank. Fire by rank only works for three ranks. But you want to have some give so that your guys have. There's some. No, like there are, for the f first few casualties, you can still make up the numbers of people from the back. Uh, go. Oh, my reinforcements have to challenge their flank. Oh, this is all. Uh oh. Second one comes in. Three units forming square. They should die. Defense in depth.
Although I really, really need that support right now. They say winning, but they, they've, they're losing a lot of cards. Hopefully my main body can do enough damage. Need to be prepared. As much damage as possibly done for their line infantry. They'll tire. They've got another square to get to. Militia fire in the rear. Infantry moving in. We don't have bayonets. Score all that. Chalk that up to. Fine. Scare them off. Move up. do damage. I need them to tire. I need them to run out of their own. I can't throw all my men in and lose the ball. I need them to go from unit to unit to unit. Because otherwise, all that's going to happen is that I'm just going to have one massive clump of infantry fighting. have nothing to back it up. I need these guys to do as much damage as possible. Mortars are going to die. Move my mortars over here because these are my general unit. I need 
these guys to route. These guys are going to die. So into these guys form my next square. Fine, waver, I don't care. Yeah, all I care. As long as I win. I think I might lose. Hopefully this goes route. My settlement, but I'll take it back. I don't have time to piss about. Apart from these guys. I think my guys can demonstrate. That's what happened. Ah, oh, this sucks. This really sucks. Hanover will pay for this. Hopefully, they are suitably shattered from fighting. Strongly align, decimating the line, no cow there. We can line, we can line. Hmm. Could do it. We might not be in the position to have a proper fight with four. Where's my. This unit came back from routing. You stop routing. Just turn around and fire. To on the 44th. Not formed. You can take advantage of this.
So those guys have already routed once, they can route again. you broken against him? Oh. Come on, get some fire. Numerical advantage. Oh, these guys are proud as well. I think my city is lost. This will not stand. Hanover is going to be crushed. Yeah, game over. First loss of the LP. It had to happen sometime. Come on. Wap wap. Ah, oh, someone came back right at the end. See, that's. Sometimes when it feels like the game's about to get you, it'll bring units back at the last possible minute. So that. It can do nothing but kind of stretch the game out more. Do damage to them. Game over. Wap wap. That's okay. I'll see you guys back on the camping map and I'll explain what I'm going to do about it. Okay, guys. As you can see, we lost that battle and we have lost Dresden. First, we need to reinforce Berlin rapidly. Lots of raids, trade agreement, army destroyed. Diplomacy, Austria. Request peace. Open request trade agreement. There you go. So this army inside Austria will hold the line. How much would it cost to replenish? Ten grand. No way. This army will head north. Recruit a few units of grenadiers. The thing is, this is... Oh no, how strong are those armies? Kinda strong. Militia units. Some have militia. Cavalry. Militia. Okay, that's okay. On the field, this army is very powerful. Okie dokie. Enter. That's my plan. That's strong. And head uh, the defense of Berlin. Retake Saxony. Military alliance. You know what? I'll do it. Because you'll keep them on side. Uh, move on. If I can take Hanover, I'll move on and take Denmark. I think I'm at war with Mark. I think. But, meh. That's how it goes. You win some, you lose some. But what I gotta remember to do is to not let my guard down with Hanover. 
I'm defending walls for this. If I can do a lot of damage to these guys. These guys are mostly depleted. These guys are militia. They said all their good infantry is very depleted. They have one artillery piece. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll see you guys on the battle map. The key thing to remember for this battle is that I'm bringing in all of their forces in the region. Every single stack they've put in will is reinforcing this fight. So, where's their deployment zone? Over here. That corner. Okay. So I can effectively remove guys defending here. Most of them are there, some are coming from right, Re reinforcements are coming over there. Okay. <sighs> the cavalry can't do anything because there's no holes in the walls. Mortars are raining down. Almost, these are all militia units. And they're going to be depleted by the time they get to the walls. So, it's not a problem. Well, where is the problem? There's the problem. Far outside the range of my mortars, they might be able to make a hole. So, it looks like they're not going to attack this wall. So, have these guys... Fetch these guys down. Because they're flanking around to the right. Yeah, the artillery's firing. Hopefully it here, yes. If you fire it here, that means it's going to take be even longer until they can get into a position to enter the fort. Plus, if I take these cannons out, I can just shift these line units down to defend the breach. And get units routing as soon as possible, that would be nice. Waters target their line infantry, with, which has some size to it. I don't know what the hell they're doing. There's no one there. And they're broken. I garrison these walls a bit more. Chop up these guys. I mean, I'm running on fast because there's not really a whole lot to do until now. If they make a breach in this wall as well, all of those guys are going to have to come all the way past all my guns on the walls to get in. Those can garrison artillery swiftly enough. This goes within range. Sadly not. There they are. 
losing more cavalry. The more cavalry they lose in the fight, the less they have to take my to when they think when when they make a breach, the less they have to actually have an impact. So that's not a bad thing. Routing, wavering, steady. Ring broken. Cavalry coming back around to the right. Left, I mean. Routing. So this is all I need. Line infantry staying still. That way my mortars can get as much damage on them as possible. This is all militia. No, it stops being sneaky and over it. Hanover's done this a couple of times before, there's not really much different because all that happens is that you do the exact same thing. Regiment of line ready to meet the borders. 14% damage, 46% damage. Where's my range? Hmm. So they will make a hole eventually. Whatever these guys plan on doing. Meat. Another unit of militia coming forward. The more they advanced forward before they've made a breach, the better it will be for me. Because by the time they've made a breach, all of their units will be depleted. And it'll just be an easier job to defend against them. Another unit of militia, what will you do? Hmm. There's their special infantry. I'm sorry, it's probably really boring for you guys to watch. Because there's just nothing to do. Because... I don't know, because... There's not really a whole lot to defending against a mostly militia army. You just keep... They keep advancing, you keep knocking them back. They hang around a bit, and don't do anything. They occasionally send they send single units forward, 
which is never a good idea, because all that happens is that you just have one larger, you have loads of smaller attacks that don't have any chance of succeeding, failing, rather than one massed attack on everywhere. Mortars just keep doing their thing. I mean, I'm gonna attack that big blob of infantry. Trouble is, like, that's not gonna work, is it? Because the further you run around, the you just get closer to my line infantry. They're already on the walls. These arms, <laughs> armed citizenry that doesn't do anything. They'll go in the buildings. That's where they're going to go. Or are they just going to directly... Oh, okay. They are just going to try and... No, they are actually trying to assault. Major offensive. <sighs> Line infantry. They need to be killed. Don't want those guys on my walls. Because they'll actually do damage. Can't man those cannons and blast down into them. Wavering, yes. If they route, then they can get shot while they run away, and they can get shot when they come back. It's a win for everyone. See? They've got, like, no actual forces to actually do anything serious because this occasional war of attrition they keep trying to do just doesn't work. The only thing they have are these guys and these guys are just being pecked at by my mortars and they're just militia so. Mm. Frontal assault on the gate. Brave. Hmm. Is it going to do anything? Probably not. Could be worse. Could be an error that actually does stuff. I know this is probably going to be horrendously boring for you, but... <laughs> you can skip forward if you want. I don't mind. Attack that union of line. This is probably going to be a run out of the clock, because they're not going to do anything. They're not going to have one major battle, or more major offensive, do or die. <sighs> okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording here and I'll just show you the outcome. And or, they do something. So, we'll see you at the end of the battle. <laughs> okay guys, as you can see, uh, nothing really interesting happened before the time ran out. They started, they were about to make a breach, but the clock ran out. So, that's the end of that. And they only have 1500 guys left. So, they have no one to defend their recently gotten gains of Saxony. They've consolidated in their city but that's it and they have no other stacks elsewhere in their territory so they're ripe for the plucking free heading up from the south weaver's cottage good i'm at peace with poland still see they got a full stack here but they're heavily depleted as are these so if i move over here and then attack got one mortar some units of militia and these guys are all depleted I think they've merged as well somehow I think what I will do is maintain siege and call this actually two units 
give them some great ideas. Retrain. And so I can start getting some that tax revenue. Start repairing. Then somewhere sooner or later I need to can I buy anything? Replenish anyone with that? No. Okay. Good relations with the Austrians, that won't last long, and neither will it last long with the Bavarians. So once this unit knocks out this area, I need to make another stack, probably in Berlin, to take out Hanover. This stack will probably take out Munich, and this stack will have to guard this flank against Austria. And another stack, preferably over here somewhere. But I think I'm going to call this the end, so thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next part.